All right, welcome back to City Valley Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team. And this round, we're going to talk about ifishnews.com. This is a website that we um, maintain specifically to uh, provide latest information uh, in our area, as well as some, some fishing-related information um, that uh, more like a news aggregator than a website or blog. And what we want to do is just uh, show you and describe some of the things on here. Maybe some of them, uh, some will be interested uh, in uh, a similar thing because who wants to be on uh, on the internet surfing the internet when you could be out fishing? And so what this does is provide you um, more of a centralized location uh, for some key folks that post online latest reports as well as fishing related things. So let's go ahead and take you to ifishnews.com. And so right at the top, you'll see ifish news. Good luck and good fishing. Our motto, as well as a little archive button. That archive button provides some past issues of when we were using this more like a, a periodical or newsletter. Uh, so there's some monthly um, newsletter-like uh, posts that we had um, posted in the past that you can take a look at. And then uh, in our welcome uh, section, it just talks of um, some background as well as uh, over here, a little playlist of, um, we changed it here and then. Uh, this time it's the 2019 fishing ponds or pond fishing playlist on YouTube. And so uh, what we plan on doing is, is as we fish in 2019, various ponds, we'll just update some uh, videos uh, onto this playlist and you can come back anytime and take a look at this. Just go to ifishnews.com and it'll be right there. <laughs> Alrighty, and then of course uh, you can always take a look at our archive blog, cityvalentfishing.blogspot.com. There's some key information there that we've archived that um, folks still go to. Specifically, uh, one of them being the Denison Dam Tell Race um, generation schedule uh, and hydroelectric schedule that gives you some real-time release information. It also talks of how you could read that and you can get an idea as to what the uh, water flow is doing up at Denison Dam, the Tell Race for Lake Texoma. Uh, additionally, we also have our blog, StockerTroutFishing.com. There you'll see a lot of um, fishing-related things as, uh, just to expand more on our YouTube channel. All righty. And then, of course, good luck and good fishing is how we close out this section. Of course, you could always contact us uh, at this uh, email address below. And then next, we'll go into some Texas-Oklahoma fishing reports. So, of course, there's our latest from our uh, field team reports. Uh, over here, we've got a little sidebar that talks of a magazine that we posted way back when, the Stock of Trout Fishing Magazine, as well as our YouTube channel right over here. Uh, and then we also have some updates. In this case, we have Texas Flycaster. He's got some really good information on different fly fishing related things in the area, as well as um, some, some on the coast as well. So uh, do take a look at that one. And then our YouTube channel over here in the sidebar, some information there. Uh, we'll just scroll on down. Texas fishing or Texas uh, freshwater fishing fishing reports. Mm, well, what happens is you'll get various uh, updates uh, where we'll just post some quick uh, snippets from latest fishing reports coming in uh, from the field. In this case, from various uh, forums that we uh, follow. And then uh, we do have in the sidebar online fishing articles from our hub pages, um, articles that we maintain. Uh, do check those out as well. And then down below is various uh, bloggers as well as YouTube creators and fishermen that have been posting information as to uh, various things, be it uh, related to fishing in Texas as well as in Oklahoma in this section. So we've got Thresher Fishing, great uh, information there from the coast over there on uh, Padre Island, um, close to Corpus Christi area. He's got some great videos and some uh, pretty good um, information if you plan on going fishing there. Uh, okay, fly fishing, Oklahoma fly fishing, get some uh, good information there. So I got some great videos there, uh, various places. In this case, the last one we've seen is the Blue River Catch and Release area, as well as it looks like the Lower Illinois, some trout footage there, and then another uh, YouTube uh, video on Lower Illinois uh, River up in Oklahoma, which is a tail race of Lake Ten Killer. Uh, back in December, it looks like this one was posted. So uh, what we like about this is instead of having to go searching and whatnot, it's just updates as things go, uh, get updated, and we just go right back to this uh, place, and we can take a real quick look at the headlines and see what's happening. And then if we uh, want to go and drill down a little bit more, we can just click on it, and it'll take us right to the particular YouTube channel, specifically that uh, video itself, as well as in the blog post, uh, to that blog post, and get some details there as well. So Marco Jimenez, or Jimenez, uh, Eternal Falls, Trout fishing. This one's nice because 
What he has is he's got these um, aerial shots that give a nice overview of the area. So uh, that's that's always a good one. And then there's some some bruiser trout that he's caught in the past. So uh, do take a look at that uh, channel. Uh, going down below, MDLR Fishing. Not sure what it stands for, but what's cool about this is this looks like um, uh, a kayak fisherman uh, who is based out of the Houston area, uh, Galveston area and whatnot. And you can see a lot of great uh, fishing footage uh, on the coast. Uh, so we uh, always like being able to look at that. And then Drone Fishing Texas. This one where these guys take a drone and they uh, launch that drone out into the, uh, be it on the surf and whatnot, and they catch different things uh, to take their uh, bait out there and uh, get some good footage there. So uh, that's always a nice one to take a look at. And then William B. Tedrick, uh, I believe, is down over there in the call station uh, area. He's got some great videos, um, various fishing-related things. Uh, and also some some cool updates on his ranch. He's got a, a nice ranch over there where he's been building and doing all kinds of cool things. So we always like to, taking a look at that. Uh, Jeff Bonham uh, on the coast as well. We see a lot of kayak fishing related things there. So we like uh, taking a, a look at there. Uh, Rex Del Rey, uh, also known for his hat with this uh, camera that goes on top. Um, a lot of kayak fishing related videos over there on the coast. So we like taking a look at that. And then Bill Conrad, a local guy, up here in the North Texas area, he's got some great info and um, video, uh, some recent trips uh, this past December there. And then Lake Fork guy, well-known individual who's been um, uh, online for a while. Uh, always good to be uh, checking out his stuff. Um, mainly looks like it's more freshwater bash related, but bottom line, you can see already he's got some different things, including uh, some, some deer uh, hunting related things, as well as, um, unfortunately, uh, there was uh, an issue with... Um, uh, uh, an illness and it looks like there may be something brewing up again. So uh, shout out to uh, Lake Fork guy that uh, we hope the health uh, uh, improves and continues um, on, on a good path. Uh, we do like uh, following your videos and your posts. So um, uh, all the best for you, Lake Fork guy. Um, Brandon Kyle McKibben uh, is another one that uh, a local individual, uh, fisherman, a lot of kayak fishing, a lot of pond fishing, uh, great information. Uh, if you um, want to follow him, do take a look at that one. Pamela Girlfish. This is, a uh, again, I believe is Houston, Galveston area as well, kayak fisherman. Uh, she posts a lot of good information there. Uh, so do take a look at that. If you want to hit the coast, um, always a good uh, thing to take a look at there. And if you can't hit the coast, bottom line, it's always good to just take a look at uh, the, the site and just see what things are trending. Intrepid Fisherman, he hasn't posted in a while, but he had some pretty good stuff that he's posted um, in past years. So we like keeping this one up uh, uh, on the site, mainly because uh, some some of his videos uh, about Texas City Dyke uh, on the coast itself uh, over there in Galveston gave us some good information there. So doesn't post as much uh, as before, uh, but bottom line, we like it uh, more like an archive to go and take a look at uh, uh, oh, by the way, we're getting ready to go hit the coast. Maybe there's some good information that was posted in the past. All right, and then here's some blogs. Fly fishing blogs, Gink and Gasoline, April Vokey, and then Fiberglass Manifesto. And these are some, some big name ones from uh, the fishing um, update or fisherman standpoint. You know, we like uh, taking a look at these. And these, you can see how we've just broken out these so you can have some more detail. So um, you take a look at this, you see when the last post, you get an idea um, what's happening. You can see Gink and Gasoline. They post often, probably 10, 11, pretty recent. Um, April Vokey blog, she does a lot more on Twitter and whatnot, but still like keeping that one on here. And then the Fiberglass Manifesto, uh, I like looking at that because uh, who, who doesn't, who doesn't uh, like a fiberglass rod and uh, uh, doing some fly fishing with it because of the uh, flexiness, I guess uh, you call it. Anyways, uh, let's go on. Fly Fishing Fun. we got uh, an Orvis podcast, Tightline Video. That's another good one to take a look at. And then In the Riffle, there's some really good fly fishing related stuff as well as some fly tying stuff to take a, take a look at. Some good, um, uh, I guess, uh, fly fishing tips. And Dave McFell, a uh, big one with uh, fly tying. The Orvis Company, again, uh, They've got a podcast, and oh, by the way, they also have some blog posting too. So that's always good to take a look at. Red's Fly Shop. Uh, this one, uh, this one's a pretty good one to watch. Um, this is where, where we picked up on doing the uh, switch casting. It was with one-handed spade casting. They're over there in uh, the West Coast, but um, bottom line, there's some good stuff to take a look at, and so we like following that. And maybe someday we uh, decide to hit the road and uh, hit the the West Coast. Uh, we definitely would make that. Uh, 
uh, on the checklist to stop by and take a look at what's happening there. And of course, Tenkara. Uh, some of the key things with Tenkara Bum and Tenkara USA. We do have Tenkara rods as well as some Tanagal rods and other rods. Uh, and bottom line, we like uh, fishing in all different ways. And so just to keep abreast of what's happening, it's always good to just take a look and uh, have this. Uh, so instead of surfing the net, we'll just go to ifishnews.com and just kind of do a real quick rundown on different things and see what uh, the latest and greatest is on particular uh, areas. In this case, Tenkara, fly fishing, as well as Texas, Oklahoma updates so far. And then there's a kayak fishing fund. So this is always a good one to, 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 to always take a look. I mean, we, we like kayak fishing. Some of the key big names that we call them, Kayak West, um, kayak fishing, uh, individual who's been uh, fishing uh, the Kayak West or Kayak uh, Key West area. And uh, a lot of good catch and cook videos as well as uh, kayak fishing tips and whatnot. And then uh, uh, he also has a technical breakdown or... Um, I guess, marketing background. So he goes into more detail as to uh, different um, uh, payment things when it came to YouTube and some analytical things. So it's, you know, it doesn't, it's not just about fishing. He also has some kayaking or uh, he also has some uh, good technical tips. Uh, if you're a YouTube creator or a budding YouTube creator who wants to take a look at um, maybe how things are done for someone who's pretty successful at this. 30 miles out, they were over here in the Texas area, South Texas, Rockport and whatnot. And then they went to uh, Florida, and now they're coming back. So, woo woo, come back to Texas, and we'll see some more of those great fishing things out of the Three Miles Out team. Uh, Robert Field, uh, uh, fellow Aggie, uh, he's got all kinds of crazy uh, videos out there with some uh, big fish being caught, and he's living the dream, uh, being able to fish for a living as well as do some YouTube creation, and uh, we definitely follow him. Uh, so do check that one out, and uh, you can see here he's he's gone to Panama. He's gone to a kayak fishing world championship. He's gone to uh, some some information on rods and reels as well as some bass fishing things. So that's always good. And of course you got Yak Motley, another individual over there in the Florida area. So you've got a Key West kayak fishing in Florida. You got 30 miles out in Florida, but coming back to Texas. And then you got Yak Motley, who's in Florida, and he's got some great information. Uh, his vlog uh, can can span between fishing to kayak fishing to in this case, look, he's talking about a big green egg. <laughs> you know, so um, he's got some really good information there, and it's always great and enlightening to go uh, take a look at what um, the, the latest post he's gotten. Uh, Elias V Fishing. This one's more kayak fishing related. Um, and he's on the uh, East Coast, and it gets chilly up there, but he's out there catching some things. So we always like uh, taking a, uh, a gander at uh, what what's happening in his area. So uh, we like doing that. Zoffinger. Uh, we've seen him go from uh, kayak to boat to back to kayaks and then back to other things and paddle boards and stand up paddling. And then he's got his business and whatnot. And so there's some always uh, some good things to take a look at with Zoffinger. And then Rocket Kit. Uh, this is one um, who's based, I believe, out of, um, I think, New Zealand. Uh, anyways, he's got some great uh, kayaking related fishing things there that... Um, uh, are great to watch and this is uh offshore stuff as well as near shore but um think of it as um fishing blue water in a kayak so uh, we like looking at that and uh, staying abreast as well shark fishing here's some cool things that we like um staying abreast of as well land shark outdoors this one um get some really good information there and some tips and whatnot when we want to fish from the beach uh black tip h that's um Big thing we like about them is those big fish that they catch, as well as those aerial drone shots and this great cinematography that they have, and well, well thought out um, information and and lessons and whatnot to learn from them. So they're always good to take a look at, and you can see they post regularly. Um, Duvan Van Brida, we're not sure if we're even pronouncing that right, but that's a uh, South Africa, and so of course when you think of South Africa, you think of great white sharks. So we're always like taking a look at um, what's happening down in that area, and so we've got that in here as well. So shark fishing, land shark outdoors, black tip H, and then Duvan Van Brida. East Coast happenings, you know. So we said this is like more of a news aggregator than a website, and so we'll just kind of come over here and take a look at different things and see what's happening in this area. So when we take a look at this, some of the key indicators that we look at for what's happening on the East Coast, Fish Your Way, John Skinner Fishing, and then Sea Money Fishing. And you can see there, here's some stuff related to um, freshwater fishing, trout fishing, and then right into some saltwater fishing and whatnot with John Skinner. Uh, do a lot of um, uh, beach uh 
surf uh, fishing related things as well as um, he's got uh, some cool underwater water wolf camera videos that you'll see where he's um, dragging or trolling baits and jigs and whatnot and you can see uh, flounder and striped bass going for him so uh, he's got some really good information sea money fishing this one's um kayak fishing as well as some various different um fishing and whatnot in this case you can see how things have shifted over to brook trout super rough day broken rod target tautog as well as a new jersey party boat blackfish limit challenge so always good to take a look at that one Okay, so uh, on to the West Coast. East Coast happenings are always great to take a look at, but let's go ahead and see what's happening on the West Coast. So what we do is we follow Fisherman's Life. Uh, he's got some great uh, videos. Uh, the one we especially like is when he got the Honda Element, uh, used Honda Element, and he used that as his fishing vehicle. And then he came up with um, uh, different um, fishing modes of fishing. There was one where there was a boat that he had gotten that you can uh, tow. Uh, and then he's got some great catch and cook videos. Loves avocados, loves uh, cooking with butter. Bottom line, uh, it's always good to take a look at uh, Fisherman's Life on the West Coast. Die hard fishing, more surf fishing related things, as well as um, some great information, catching cooks and whatnot. And then Rodney's fishing adventure. We see that he does a lot of stuff down in the uh, where we used to uh, be stationed at when we were in the service, uh, San Diego. Uh, so in the San Diego Bay, we see some great information being uh, sent out of there in the Southern California area, area, and you can see that things have kind of shifted, in this case, uh, in his area, to some trout fishing, and there's some great footage there, uh, so that's always, always um, uh, a good good thing to look at and uh, stay abreast of what's happening from a fishing perspective. YouTube fishing dudes, well, we call these um, uh, the guys that come up with some some pretty pretty zany antics as well as fishing tips and the latest and greatest um uh i guess methods and catching fish as well as some some off the wall things so you could see by just by the titles um uh let's see uh power plant speed fishing slaying winter fish in hot water epic fail with a winter vortex storm some wild trout uh being caught from wooden rod reel fishing and then you got lunkers tv and there's some uh Pretty good stuff that he's posted there as well. Uh, a little mix of some hunting stuff as well as some fishing stuff. But bottom line, uh, these guys got uh, a good pulse on some of the different new things happening out there. YouTube fishing ladies, well, uh, well, it's always good to have a pretty lady. In this case, you got Darcizzle offshore fishing with Louisa, and then you got Hooked on Brook, who I think she's in Australia. But bottom line, there's some uh, uh, pretty young ladies who uh love the fish so you get the both of both worlds if you're a guy you get a pretty lady who goes fishing it's a win-win <laughs> anyways let's go on to texas fly fishing spotlight um these are various some um, feeds that come out of facebook it looks like it's airing out at this time but um we do want to just point out fly fish rockport real feel real fly fishing adventure and action angler outdoors those are some good ones that we always see uh looking at rockport in particular, over there by um, the... Uh, All right, and to uh, round things out, uh, we figured out how to do the error, uh, or at least a workaround for the errors that we're having for the Texas Fly Fishing Spotlight uh, section, as well as our Texas Fishing Piers. So we've got Fly Fish Rockport, the uh, page link, as well as Real Fly Fishing Adventures and Action Angler and Outdoors. Uh, Real Fly Fishing Adventures, that's a uh, outfit over there fishing the Guadalupe uh, for trout as well as action angler and outdoors uh, so both of them giving you some updates on the guadalupe river and how the action's happening there and of course you got fly fish rockport and that action on the coast uh redfish speckled trout on the fly pretty good stuff so we like uh, uh liking those pages as well as we um uh, like to uh keep abreast by uh, just checking things out on the ifishnews.com uh site uh, news aggregator and getting the latest and greatest and that said let's go to texas fishing piers 61st street fishing pier one of our favorites when we're down over there in galveston as well as galveston fishing pier so we uh, have the uh, likes for them you can take a look at uh, the latest and greatest things that they have and then um pirates landing pier that's another good one to uh, take a look at uh for those that are uh, heading down the coast uh, all the way down to south texas See if you can catch some fish on a fairly, very good size uh, pier. Not been there before, but eventually we're going to plan on making a trip there and see what it's going to be like uh, fishing Pirates Landing in South Texas. And finally, we close out things with some humor, specifically with Hank Patterson, world's greatest fly fishing guy. We've got a playlist of his um, latest uh, and greatest uh, videos. 
product reviews, teach folks how to fly fish, and really good stuff there. And then uh, we do have some videos on some product reviews that we've done in the past. Uh, this one that's showing in this uh, uh, section is liking the Rio Trout Max shooting head, and there's a, some other ones also related to cork strike indicator, echo ion fly reels, as well as a nail knot tying tool. I think there's a couple other ones in there that uh, take a look at it. There's eight right now, but we uh, plan on uh, doing more product reviews and adding them in there. And of course, we have some related products that uh, link to the page uh, on some things or interests that an individual may uh, be interested in. All righty. So that is ifishnews.com. And bottom line, we invite you to take a look at this uh, page. Uh, and it gets updated basically as folks update their YouTube channels and um, blog posts and podcasts uh, informations hitting here um, if you are interested in uh, adding a link or whatnot to this uh, do uh, reach out to us you can uh, put a like or a comment or uh, reach out to us via YouTube on our YouTube channel COAF City of Allen Fishing Field Team uh, and if you uh, want to get added to the iFish News uh, news aggregator, uh, certainly do reach out to us. All right, so next time we'll catch you all later, and good luck and good fishing.